All right, Google's Gemini Advanced is out. Google Bard is dead. Is it any good, this new Google Gemini Advanced? How does it work? How does it stack up against ChatGPT Plus? We're gonna try to answer as many of those questions as we can in a couple of minutes. All right, what's going on, y'all? If you're new here, thank you. My name is Jordan Wilson, I'm the host of Everyday AI. We're a daily live stream podcast, free daily newsletter, helping everyday people learn and leverage Gen AI to grow your companies, grow your careers. So if you're new here, thanks. Please subscribe to this channel, but please go to youreverydayai.com and sign up for the free daily newsletter. All right, so Gemini Advance is out. So here's what this means in a nutshell. Google Bard is no more. Bard is Gemini. Technically, before Bard was Gemini because that is the model that was powering Google Bard. But now instead, Google is just calling its large language model by the model name, which is uh, Gemini, a little confusing. So your base uh, Gemini now, the free version runs on uh, Gemini Pro. The uh, upgraded version of Gemini Advance runs on Gemini Ultra, 1.0. Okay, so uh, it's technically two different versions, just like there's, you know, uh, GPT 3.5, and then there's GPT 4. So uh, the Gemini Ultra is the more advanced version. So it's, uh, as you can see here, it is their most capable model, state of the art of performance designed for highly complex tasks. So uh, I'm going to get into this in a little bit, because I think Google dropped the ball uh, a lot. So anyways, uh, Let's let's just go ahead and look uh, why. So as an example here, let me just go ahead and uh, bring this up. So I can't access right now uh, Gemini, Gemini uh, Advanced on my Google Workspace account. So for my business account, when I go to upgrade, uh, to Gemini Advance, this is what I get. I get an option that says, sorry, Gemini Advance isn't available for you. So I've been saying this for a long time. For whatever reason, Google is not making all of its AI products and services available to those with workspace accounts. So especially if you have a smaller, you know, what used to be called Google G Suite or Google Workspace, you may not even have access to this right now. I haven't had access to any of Google's AI features on my business account. So what I'm showing you right now, it's important to keep that in mind, is actually on my personal personal Gmail account, which is attached to nothing that I would in theory want to be using, uh, you know, Google Gemini advanced for. So, uh, these features aren't fully out yet, but they will be rolling out soon. Uh, the availability to use Gemini in Gmail docs and more, but Google, Hey, if we can't use that in our workspace account, if we're a small organization, why would you even make it available? Uh, it doesn't make sense anyway. So number one, big, big L right there. Uh, so let's just go ahead. So everything I'm showing you here is going to be in my personal Gmail. So let's just go ahead and take a look. So here is Gemini advanced, right? So a quick, a quick kind of tour. It works very much the same as chat GPT does. You can choose your model. So this is the, the free quote unquote free Gemini pro here is the paid Gemini advance. And then in the same way with chat GPT, you can toggle uh, your chats on and off. You can click for a new chat. Uh, here's your settings down here. Uh, your extensions, the extensions are important. I have all the extensions active. Uh, so right now it's basic integration with Google's other products. But again, uh, your this is pretty much useless. Uh, if you are using this for a business account, your business account does not have access. I cannot emphasize that enough. All right, so let's go back into Google Advance, or, or sorry, Gemini Advance, and let's just go and talk, right? So here's another, I think, big fat L. Well, we'll see if it changed because I just ran this prompt once and I said, what are the main advantages of, uh, whoops, let's get back out. So I said, what are the main advantages of Gemini Advance over the normal Gemini Pro? And it says, unfortunately, there's no such thing as a product called Gemini Advance. Y'all, all you companies, trillion dollar companies, when you're launching this, people are going to be asking the model, what are you? How do you work? Like you have to be prepared for this. You have to have this in your training data. Another huge miss by Google. All right, so out of curiosity, let's go in and ask ChatGPT the same thing. We'll see if it uses Browse with Bing and if it finds uh, if it finds something and if it can do a better job of explaining the Gemini Advanced model than Gemini does. And as I presumed it would, yes, it does. So again, if Google, if I can't ask you a question about your own model, but I can ask your competitors and your competitors do a great job, it means your model is not ready. It's not ready. Sorry. 
All right. So let's 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 uh let's jump back in. You know, I got to get my gripes out of the way, but let's see what uh it is actually capable of. So I have a couple prompts just ready that I'm gonna run and we're gonna see how it handles. So now I'm asking Gemini Advance. I'm saying write a Python program that takes two numbers as input and offers a menu to the user to select an operation, addition, subtraction, multiplication, multiplication, division. Essentially, I'm asking it to write some Python code uh, that I could, in theory, use as a calculator. So it says, absolutely, here's the Python program allow, uh, as well, uh, along with explanations. So um, it looks pretty good. I don't, uh, I'm not fluent in Python. I know the basics. Um, so I'm looking at it. I'm like, okay, this looks pretty accurate. Let's go ahead and just try the same prompt in ChatGPT to see if it also is able uh, in, in a similar amount of time with, um, you know, hopefully uh, something that looks kind of the same or similar to see if it can spit out uh, this same program that we asked it to build in Python uh, to build a little calculator. So uh, taking taking a second longer right now in ChatGPT. However, one thing I noticed is it does look like ChatGPT had some updates. Um, it's the, the the interface looks a little different. Um, I don't know if anyone else is is uh, seeing this literally just from today. So it could be some new updates or maybe uh, ChatGPT is just struggling on writing this Python code comparatively to uh, Gemini Gemini Ultra. So at least in this one, in, in speed, uh, goes to Gemini Ultra. It looks like it had an error. All right, so we'll try it. We'll try it one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and stop. I'm gonna go ahead and click this again, save and submit. We'll, we'll, we'll give ChatGPT one more try uh, on this one. Uh, so as, as we're letting that go, I'm gonna go ahead and explain the next task that we're gonna do. So the next one is I have a image here that I'm gonna upload and I'm gonna be asking both Gemini uh, Ultra and ChatGPT to read this because both of them have this kind of vision capability to read and interact with images. This image is, is not very high quality. So I'm gonna be specifically asking it about these text programs, all right? so. We're doing this live, we're jumping back and forth. So as we give ChatGPT another second here to see how it can analyze or if it can analyze writing this Python code, we'll give it a second and that is our next task that we are going to be uh, undergoing. So we'll give this one just a second here. I don't think I need to pause the video. Normally this is an AI in five. Today's might be, sorry, like an AI in 15 or so, but stick with me, we're doing it live so you can figure out if there are big advantages on Gemini Ultra versus ChatGPT Plus. Something I didn't mention is the cost, right? So it is uh, 20, it's $20 a month. Uh, right now you get two free months as a trial. Um, and then after that, it is $20 a month charged to whatever credit card that you put on file. All right, so interesting. So it looks like uh, I'm getting some errors here, uh, but it's not actually working. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna try calling out. So I'm gonna say using um, advanced data analysis or code interpreter mode, and then I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this secondary prompt and call the model uh, to see if that works while we jump into Gemini Advanced and we try our, uh, try our next one here. All right, so I'm gonna upload that image that I talked about, this that shows the different AI tools, right? And then I have a text prompt here. So I'm saying, please list out all of the text AI programs and give me a very brief description of what each one does. So again, these texts, this is a, not the highest quality image. So I'm seeing how smart uh, are these AI images? Like, uh, or, or sorry, like how smart is the, the vision capabilities of Gemini Ultra and ChatGPT? It's not a high quality image. Sometimes you can see the, the text, right? Like I can see, oh, this is hypertype here. This is you, this is Copysmith. But in some instances, it's just a logo and there's no uh, really additional information, right? Um, like writer, right? Like that could, mean any, that could mean anything. So does it know that writer is an AI program? So uh, we're gonna see how both Gemini Ultra and, uh, and uh, ChatGPT do so. Uh, here it saw it saw auto bound. I didn't even see which one auto bound was. Let's make sure it's on the list. All right, it's on the list. So uh, okay, Bard or sorry, uh, Gemini Advance found auto bond. Good, it found right Sonic. Um, I don't think this is correct. This says Sonic Team. I did not see that. That is not the white Sonic. 
So it didn't get it right. It is right sonic with an R. So little hallucination there. Not a big deal. Uh, so photo room. Uh, let's double check. Was that on uh, the list? It looks like photo room. I'm looking here. I don't see it on first quick reference. Okay, interesting. I don't see photo room on the text side. I'm guessing it's probably somewhere. There it is. It's on the image side. So it is reading thing. Uh, it is reading things on this image, but not what I'm specifically asking it to. Okay, so that's a little bit of hallucination. Technically, photo room was on the list, but not where I asked it. Jasper, so it got it right. So so far, it has. Uh, it has two and a half right and one wrong. Uh, any word, got it right. Uh, Persado, I didn't see that on there. Phrase, that's right. So, okay, we can go through here. So it looks like it did. I'd go through and look. It looks like it brought a lot of them in from other areas. So maybe like a, you know, a B plus job. So not terrible. All right, let's check back in on chat GPT. So here, hey, guess what? When you call the mode, sometimes it works better. So in this instance, I did call the mode and it looks like ChatGPT was able to accurately uh, kind of write that information. So now let's go ahead and we're gonna run the same thing. We're gonna run that image. We're gonna put it in here. We're gonna run the same image prompt and we're gonna see how ChatGPT does. All right, I know this is a lot as we're going on to the next one. So uh, let's talk. Okay, so interesting. So it says, I'm sorry, but I can't provide transcriptions for images that contain large amounts of text or many individual text items, especially when it includes brand name softwares or services, etc. cetera. Uh, this can be seen as providing direct promotion or advertisement. So if I was doing this, like not live, I would go through and I would be able to prompt ChatGPT to do it, but out of the box, it didn't do it. Um, I'm curious if I just run the exact same prompt again, and uh, you know, change change the 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 language a little bit um, if it's going to work. So I'm going to give it I'm going to give that one more try. I'm going to try to be nicer, and I'm going to say at the end I'm going to say um, you know I'm having I'm having trouble reading this. My vision isn't the best. Could you please help with this task? So um, I'm just asking, you know, one more time. I'm kind of being nice. We'll see. I don't think that's going to uh, have a difference. If, if I had time, I would be able to get it to work. But again, I'm trying to do this live. All right. So our last task as we give uh, ChatGPT. Um, so, you know, funny. It's like, hey, when you tell ChatGPT, hey, I could really use your help with this. I can't see. It's small. It's actually doing uh, a decent job there. So it got smart right, right? It got hyper tight. Uh, let's see, is lately on the text image. Um, I can't even see. Uh, let's see, auto bound, right Sonic, Jasper, copy Graham, Genie, letter drop, copy Smith. All right. So actually, when I asked ChatGPT a second time, it did a slightly better job of only bringing in ones in the text. So that's what people don't understand with large language models. They're just autocompletes. If you do it twice, if you tweak it a little bit, you're probably gonna get better uh, better results. Kind of crazy, right? All right, our last test. I know this is turning into a very long AI in five, but I wanted to do a good job of uh, doing this. So a downside, huge downside of Gemini uh, Advance. You can't upload anything else aside from images, which to me, automatically makes it don't use it you can't upload spreadsheets you can't upload pdfs like google come on like you like you have to know that you know like you're like we know it has the capabilities to do it because when you do connect it uh with your drive right it can read those files in theory it's not available yet in advance it's actually available in pro so uh we know the capabilities are there so come on all right anyways let's just go ahead we're going to run this prompt and this one's a little longer because it says that it can't work with you know csvs etc so i have a huge prompt here and i'm going to upload some information from a csv so in line i'm going to put information from a csv and i'm essentially asking it to you know act as a marketing assistant and here's all of our email data and can you can you do anything with it all right so this is a super long prompt here i don't know how it's gonna how it's gonna handle so right away it said uh it said something went wrong so i'm gonna try it again let's see if it did a better job the second time all right so uh 
Unfortunately, I can't do the last part of this test. Uh, I'm going to try it one more way. Give me just a second. All right, so let me go ahead. So now what I'm doing, again, I'm saying act as a uh, as a marketing assistant for our company's newsletter campaign. Uh, you know, I've observed, you know, different things, right? For, and then I'm trying to paste in data from a CSV. So before I had it as an inline table. So now I'm going to try to paste it in as plain text because right now, you cannot upload a CSV or you cannot upload a PDF into Gemini Ultra or sorry, well, Gemini Advanced via Gemini Ultra, which to me is not good. Um, and so let's try it again. So I'm doing it as inline text. Same thing. Something went wrong. All right. Well, thanks. So uh, let's go in here. Let's put in the same prompt into chat GPT um, and see how it does by, uh, you know, with using the actual file itself. All right, so uh, give me a second here. So we're gonna go ahead and we'll see how even ChatGPT does with this. So here's my prompt. I'm gonna go ahead and upload, uh, upload the data here. Wanna make sure I get the correct one. All right, there is our dummy newsletter data. So I'm essentially just asking, uh, you know, chat GPT here to, you know, analyze this in a very advanced way using Python, uh, going into some pretty deep analysis. So you'll see right now it's working. I may or may not give it time to finish out. So let me just go ahead as this is going, I'll jump back here in the end and let me give you uh, kind of first take impressions on, um, on Gemini Advance. Well, first, first off, um, not super impressed. Again, I didn't do a lot. I've been hard on Google in the past, but Google, like if I can't ask you about Gemini and you can't tell me, right? Like I'm going to run this one more time just so you guys can see this. So literally when I just ask uh, Gemini, like what are the advantages of Gemini Advance over normal Gemini Pro and Gemini? Okay. So now it's saying something else. Okay. So now it's saying now it's able to understand what Gemini standard is, but I don't think this is right. Gemini Active Trader. Uh, Gemini Active Trader is essentially the pro version of standard Gemini Exchange. So it's it looks like it's hallucinating here um, because Gemini Active Trader uh, is definitely not part of Google Gemini. So it looks like first it said, I can't tell you. Now it's hallucinating. So even right there, if if you can't even talk to it about what it is, how are people supposed to learn? Uh, so that's not good. I do think it did a good job in the test that I gave it uh, to code the calculator. It was a little faster, a little better than ChatGPT. I had to tweak it uh, in ChatGPT to get the same or similar response. Uh, with the reading the images, it did an okay job. Uh, it, it worked right off of the bat, whereas in ChatGPT it didn't. But again, when I worked with ChatGPT a little bit more, it actually gave me a little bit better results. Um, where uh, I, I think in Gemini Advance, it was more like 50-50, uh, where in uh, ChatGPT, it looked about 75-25. Uh, and then last but not least, it can't, uh, you know, you can't work with any CSV, you can't work with any PDF right now anyways in Gemini Advance as is. And then even pasting in, you know, I try to paste in uh, kind of large swaths of text uh, from a CSV. It says you can, it didn't work. Maybe it was too much. Maybe it's overloaded. I don't know. But overall, not super impressed by Gemini Advance now. However, it was literally just released like two hours ago. I'm sure it's going to improve. Um, I'm sure it is going to get much better. I hope it's going to get much better because right now, um, I, especially the fact that this does not work with workspace accounts, I would not recommend this for anyone. Right now, I wouldn't, you know, um, especially when it doesn't work with workspace accounts. Uh, if, if, if you're a heavy Gmail user and you love Gmail and you haven't found success with ChatGPT, Maybe it's worth checking out. There is the two month free trial, but then after that, it is uh, $19.99 a month. All right, we'll be doing a lot more on Gemini Ultra in later shows. I know this was a long AI in five. Thank you for tuning in. I hope this is helpful. If so, go to youreverydayai.com, sign up for that free daily newsletter, and we'll be back later for another AI in five ish. Thanks, y'all.